Well, I, I have been drawing uh, art drawing since I've been seven, eight years old. Uh, my brother brought some art books home, and, and he was about nine years older than me, and so, of course, being the bigger brother of everything, oh, this has got to be really important. And it was the first time that I was exposed to new women, which was a great thing for a nine-year-old or ten-year-old. But I started learning how to draw at a very early age from all the art books that he brought home, the old large... Uh, drawing books that were very popular of the 1940s and 50s. And uh, I kept them for years, but I would practice and practice and practice, and then pretty soon I would do other things, and I'd draw from pictures from book magazines and books. And so over the years, it was always a hobby in the background. I always thought, well, at, at, at one time when I was going to school, I thought I would love to have been an animator, okay? Again, was the same, the human element and the spiritual element. The human element said, oh, you're never going to be good enough, you know, to be working for Disney or some, that kind of thing. And so what, what evolved out of that is that the art kind of got pushed to the side. I did it. I did it as a hobby. I drew. I had all kinds of drawing books and art books, and I read about it, and then I'm more of a hobby. Over the years, the other thing I was doing was martial arts. I was in judo when I was a teenager, and I taught judo, and there was a time lapse uh, that when my, I got, had a son come along, and then I got into uh, Kempo, and I was uh, I'm a three-degree black belt Kempo, and I was uh, in uh, Kempo martial arts up until my early 50s, and my fortunately, my I say fortunately because by that time my body was working down, but my sensei closed the studio and I went into Aikido. So I've been in Aikido about 14 years and I'm a black belt in Aikido. So over the 30 something years that I've been in martial arts, that's been one of my great loves also, learning how the body moves and how it flows. Well, I started merging those things years, several years ago and I started studying how Sumi uh, Chinese artists would do their simple line drawings and their washes and it was just blew me away. And, uh, and I love other kinds of art too, but it, it lent itself to the line uh, drawings that I did from pencil and ink. And I expanded that, I could play with that, and I love the process of flowing lines and how a line expands and diminishes and, and, and the power of it. So in turn, I started doing sumi, and these uh, are Aikido techniques where the throne has been, the technique has been implemented and this is the wow moment. This is the moment just before they hit the mat. Well, the, well, the, the attacker was the attacker and then becomes the victim because they, they, they throw their aggression into the attacker, uh, which is these, the, uh, uh, in this case, the person who's performing the technique is called a nagi, and the person who is in turn taking the fall is called an uki. And so when the uki attacks, uh, and the implementation, the implementation of the technique actually occurring is that waha, that ooh, wow, look at that. You know, he doesn't look like he did anything. And that's what I try to capture. So by my experience and knowledge, uh, this is, uh, I started developing these techniques and these drawings. I have probably 20, 25 of these different moments. And uh, also I do them in Kempo and uh, and other martial arts. I'm very aware of other martial arts. I did not study them, but I can appreciate their movement and their time and their essence. So this is what I'm doing now. This is a rice paper, which I found out, I call it rice paper, but in reality it's a, uh, 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 comes from a, uh, from a vine. Uh, I can't think of the name of it right now. But anyway, it's called rice paper, and it has very great grains of texture to it, which adds to the dimension, I think. And then in turn, I do the, uh, the sumi techniques with the lines and then the washes. And this is my name in Japanese, and this is, they call it chop, which in turn is my name inside the chop. Uh, and basically, it's a stamp. And the word up at the top there is Aikido. And so uh, this is a particular technique that I've done in the process. And, and uh, also, I do sculptures of this. I do emblems where I'm doing it in raised, a raised version, which in turn I make molds out of and cast out of. So that's kind of touching on what I'm doing. So I've, I've been doing this probably about uh, seven, eight years now, seven years, something like that.